Yeah, there essentially there are several stars of this movie, and the undisputed champion star of the film is the monarch butterfly itself, which is so beautiful and does such an extraordinary migration, and we learn a lot about it in the film, but in a stunningly beautiful and entertaining way. In Flight of the Butterflies, we follow the annual cycle of uh, a generation of butterflies, four generations, three generations, it varies, but we are following one year. To film one year, we spent nearly two years. We visited the sanctuaries twice. We then followed the butterflies from the Mexico sanctuaries into the Texas flower meadows. We then followed them from the flower meadows into the middle of America, the Corn Belt, and into the, the central US states. And we then followed them into, into Canada, into southern Canada, and in particular into Toronto, where we do the story of the birth of the super generation which then turns into a flight back all the way to Mexico. And again, we followed the butterflies from Toronto all the way back to the sanctuary in Mexico. 2,000 miles these, these animals fly. Uh, and we, we felt like butterflies. We were, we were doing the migration like the butterflies, I think. Another of our main stars is uh, the, the scientist Fred Urquhart, who with his wife Nora spent uh, 40 years trying to figure out where they go in the winter. The human story of this man, many scientists spending their entire lives to discover one thing, and um, it's to have that quest fulfilled that meant uh, to us wanting to bring that to everybody. That's a beautiful emotional story of his journey and success and played by the fantastic Canadian actor Gordon Pinsent. I was a very small part of it in the sense that I was the performer but the real the real uh, work of course came from Jonathan Barker, his wife Wendy, uh, Mike Slee and all the people who believed in this so much to bring this to you and uh, now we're seeing the monarch in big screen style. Um, and the third element, which is also quite really important, are the, the people who, as regular citizens, uh, unra unravel this mystery by tagging butterflies and picking up tagged butterflies across the whole migratory route. And it was only with the help of thousands of citizen scientists, as it's called, that the uh, overwintering sites were finally found in 1975. Flight of the Butterflies actually follows a scientist over 50 years to be able to find out where the butterflies went, but right today uh, the monarch butterfly is still being tracked and in fact everybody, anybody, can get involved in putting a tag on a butterfly, releasing it, and then that tag will get returned to the scientists and they will then plot the journey. And this is called citizen science. I was raised in eastern Ontario in a farming community where everyone's in tune to the changing seasons, the changing climate, and so from a young age we're very aware of the nature around us, and I had a, an interest in nature from a very young age, and about 1967 I heard about this couple named Fred and Nora Urquhart of Toronto who were tagging butterflies. I'd often thought of perhaps banding birds, but uh, this tagging program sounded really easy and very easy to do. And so I contacted the Urquharts and uh, that was the beginning of the story. We wanted to try something new in combining the human story, the compelling, amazing human story of discovery, because it involved regular people who were dedicated to the butterflies and who were citizen scientists and uh, wanted to, to, to study them, to, to tag them, to monitor them anybody in the world, but especially in North America and Mexico, can become a citizen scientist by joining what is called Monarch Watch. And Monarch Watch sends the tags to you, you put the tags on, the butterfly flies, the butterfly is found, the tag is has a number and the number is sent back and the scientists plot this and on the internet the graphs that show the journey are all based on the information that has come back from the citizen scientists the observations the 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 tags being returned this is how we still today monitor the movement of the monarch butterflies and we are talking tens of millions of animals uh, are being monitored by the use of the idea of tagging which Fred Urquhart, when he was a young scientist, came up with. 
that was a story, and that was a story that any age would love to see, and combined with the natural history story, that the two together would, would, be, would be so amazing. And we're really glad that the film has become an international sensation, and audiences are responding to it in the most positive way. Experience the flight of the butterflies.